Hey all, here OS Reviews. Today we're taking a quick look at Xiaomi's Mi Router 4A Gigabit Edition. This is a overall affordable router that is priced at under 40 bucks, often goes on sale for less because it's been on the market actually for a bit, but still offers what I consider to be solid performance, overall a clean design, and also support for a companion app, which allows you to further tweak some of the settings. Xiaomi might be more well known for smartphones, but they do in fact make a lot of smart home and lifestyle products as well. They have a ever expanding catalog, and so this is just one other example of that. This does support Wi-Fi dual band 2.4 and 5G, as well as standards like AC, but unfortunately this 4A model as an entry-level router does not support Wi-Fi 6, so that is one thing to keep in mind. But again, if you're looking at Wi-Fi 6 routers, they will tend to still be roughly twice the price of what you'll find for the 4A, and also you need to make sure that your phones and computers support the latest Wi-Fi 6 card to take full advantage of that. If you're using slightly more, let's say, entry-level or mid-tier devices anyways, or older devices, you're not going to get that full advantage. It can also act as a Wi-Fi repeater as well. So if you already have a traditional router somewhere, you can set this up, let's say, in a middle room or space to just extend the coverage of the network. What I do like about this model is it also claims to eliminate the 2.4G and 5G kind of dual settings that you'll often see with modern routers so that uh, you just have to connect to this one device which is called Xiaomi Home and it will intelligently switch between the 2.4G or 5G channels depending on what your device supports. It claims to support up to 128 devices that you can connect to at the same time, so including smart home products. And then here's just a peek at what some of those uh, smart companion app functions look like, which will allow you to receive notifications when someone is accessing your network, as well as how much data you're using up. Packaging is actually pretty eco-friendly. It's made out of this cardboard box that can be recycled, and on the inside we have just the router itself, which is surprisingly a lot lighter than I was expecting and super slim. We'll take a closer look at this in a moment. Accessories here include a standard Ethernet cable for connecting it again to wired internet and then making that process wireless. We have the AC adapter, which in our case looks like we got the European plug, but uh, depending on what location you're picking it up, you can of course find the US adapter as well. And you'll find just a quick warranty as well as instruction manual that documents the different indication lights and how to quickly set it up. Closer look at the design of the router. As aforementioned, it is really clean and surprisingly lightweight as well. All the antennas here are pretty flexible, so you can also easily uh, pop them at different angles to just improve the coverage uh, a little bit more. Otherwise, we have just the Xiaomi logo. Everything is made out of this polycarbonate plastic. And along the back here, we have access to the gigabit ethernet port, as well as the power AC port, and that's pretty much it. Just some ventilation grills to prevent overheating. Specifically, this first port is for connecting uh, internet to the router, and it can then, again, transmit it using Wi-Fi. But you also get two more ethernet ports, so you can still plug in an ethernet port from your computer to this if you prefer wired internet so it gives you back two more of these ports now one thing i will mention though is it doesn't seem to have any usb port so in terms of firmware updates or software security updates you should be able to do that just using the companion app uh, over the air here it is by the way it just has a quick size comparison with kind of an average six inch phone these days so again doesn't take up that much space looks pretty clean on a desk now, maybe the only slight con from a design perspective is because it is so slim and lightweight, the fact that it isn't really using soft-touch rubber feet at the back means that it can slightly slip and slide around a bit more easily on a table surface than what I'd really like, especially if the cable is slightly tugged. So I do wish they could have used maybe some rubber pads instead. Overall, it is what it is. It's something that you can always add as a DIY little addition yourself. There are LED lights on the front here, which will tell you the status. If it's blue, it's ready to go and turn on. It will greet you to the sign-in screen for the first time or set up a new router. Uh, and from here, you have a few different options. Uh, it will check that you're connected to this Wi-Fi source. Uh, you can either use it as a traditional router if you're connecting it to Ethernet, or you can use it in the repeater mode, which is what we're doing at the moment. So in this case, we had to then scan for nearby networks. I found the existing router that I'm using that is connected to my Ethernet internet, and I then just entered the password for that router, shared it with this Me4 router, and now it's basically become another 
access point. One thing I will point out though is for some reason this app, at least the one that I've tried out, doesn't seem to recognize US and Canada as regions that you can select at the moment. So I've chosen China slash United Kingdom. It doesn't really impact the functionality as all, but I find it to be a little strange that those two countries are kind of missing from the list of options in this Mi Wi-Fi app at the moment. But regardless, I was able to sign in. You can rename the router in our case because it is just repeating an existing router that's called Rockspace Mesh. It's now called Rockspace Mesh Plus. Now, if you're in the repeater mode, the functionality is a little more limited. Some of these icons are grayed out, which are only accessible if you're actually plugging it into the internet directly. However, things that you are able to do include setting up a guest Wi-Fi, password, and network. You can also schedule reboots, so the router again, for example, might turn off at certain times and install updates. Now under the main tab, which is just me router, you'll be able to see all the routers that you currently have connected. Again, right now we're in the repeater mode. You can also set up other routers as well. So if you purchase multiple sets, you're using them for different purposes, you can control all of them from this one companion app, which is pretty handy and easily see how they are doing in terms of their status. Are they connected online or not? As well as the data that it's currently consuming, the signal strength, Again, in the repeater mode, the functionality is a little more limited, but if you did have it connected using as a regular router, you can also add to block list certain websites, again, as part of parental controls, receive notifications regarding the status and health of the network, if it's offline, if certain websites have been accessed, as well as certain stats like the upload and download speed. And overall, again, this is dependent on your internet plan, of course, as well as um, how far you are from the other routers, uh, if you're in the repeater mode, but overall, definitely not bad. I found that the overall kind of coverage because of all these antennas to work quite well and uh, indeed definitely extends the coverage. I can still get a pretty fast loading speed when it comes to just watching back videos as well as editing documents, saving those things to the cloud. Really no issues there. A solid performance, I would say. And even if you're stress testing it a bit by connecting multiple laptops and computers to it, well, it's definitely going to be affected in terms of you may get some slightly lower speeds per device depending on your maximum bandwidth of your internet service. But the router at least is still handling that and able to stay connected to those multiple devices at the same time in my testing so far. I tried roughly uh, 10 different devices between kind of smart home appliances, phones, computers, and tablets, and really worked without too much issues in terms of staying, again, connected to this network. Pretty easy to find, and again, just very simple, easy to use, especially as a budget router. You can check out more details if you are interested, but for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.